Now we'll talk about voltaic cell. A voltaic cell is an electrochemical cell that uses a chemical reaction to produce electrical energy. The oxidation number occurs at the anode and the reduction will occur at the cathode. Once even one electron flow from anode to cathode, the charge in each vega would not be balanced and the flow of electrons will stop. To work on this one, we got an option of putting a salt bridge. So we use a salt bridge, it's a U-shaped tube that contains a salt solution to keep the changes balanced. So cations move towards the cathode and anions will move towards the anode. So as the electrons reach the cathode, cations in the cathode are attracted to the negative cathode and the electrons are taken by the cation and the neutral metal is deposited on the cathode. This is how the process will happen. We will talk about electromotive force. The potential difference between the anode and cathode in a cell is called electromotive force. It is also called as cell potential and is designated by E to the base cell. The cell potential is measured in volts. So 1 volt equal to joule divided by coulomb J by C. We will talk about standard hydrogen electrode. What do you mean standard hydrogen electrode? It is a standard measurement of electrode's potential for the thermodynamic scale of redox potentials. So this one is used to identify whether the electrode is good or not. So the standard is determined by the potential of a platinum electrode in the redox half reaction and the standard is once the hydrogen is added and an electron will be emitted to form hydrogen at 25 degrees Celsius. This is how the electrode is evaluated. This is referred to as standard hydrogen electrode. What are the standard cell potentials? The standard cell potential is the difference of the two electrodes which will form the voltage of that cell. To find the difference of two half cells, we will be having E cell. So, charge of the cell is equal to charge of the cathode minus charge of anode. So, E to the base cell is known as standard cell potential and E to the base cathode is standard reduction potential for the reduction of reaction occurring at the cathode and this one is the reaction happening at the anode. So electrode potential. The electrode potential is the potential difference between the electrode in the solution. Reduction always takes place at the cathode and the oxidation will happen at the anode. Now we'll talk about electrochemical series. The electrochemical series is built based on the arrangements of the charge values. So here the power of reduction increases, oxidability is increases and metal is become ignorable and ignitable. Here the metals become noble and oxidation increases. The most negative charge values are placed at the top and the most positive at the bottom. This is referred to as electrochemical series. As I told, in the top it will be most reactive and in the bottom is least reactive. So most electropositive and least electropositive.
So increasing electro positive values is shown here. If we talk about the applications of electrochemical series, it's used to compare the relative oxidizing and reducing paths. It's to compare the relative activities of metals, calculate the standard EMF of any electrochemical cell and to predict whether the redox reaction is spontaneous or not. This is how the electrochemical series is used. Now we are talking about the reducing and oxidizing agent. So the strongest oxidizers will have the most positive reducing potential. You can see here this guy is having strongest oxidizing agent but it's a weakest reducing agent. Obviously this guy is weakest reducing agent but this guy is the strongest reducing agent. So as the condition indicates the strongest reducers have the most negative reduction potential. If we talk about the application of oxidation and the reduction reactions, it's used in creating batteries, a normal battery, and for alkaline batteries and for hydrogen fuel cells. Thank you for watching a GTEC video.